This is the Phantom Safety Pin. I'm going to show you the basics of Audacity today. This is the Audacity main screen. If you hit File New, that opens a new window. It does not open a new project. If you hit File Open, it opens a project. I'll close, it closes the project. Say Project As. Well, it saves your project. Um, all these, I'll show you what they do later. Select, move cursor, snap to, press. Um, Audacity is a recording program. You hit this little button to record, you hit this button to play, this button to pause, and this button to stop. This takes you to the end of the track, that takes you to the beginning. I don't usually use all this stuff up here. Um, if I generate your project, for example, new audio track. The stereo track makes a new audio track, but with two channels. One for bass and one for treble. New label track, I don't know what that does. New time track, I don't know what that does. I don't usually use all this stuff. This aligns all tracks in case you need them to be aligned. This aligns with the cursor. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, that imports MIDI if you want to import a MIDI. I'm going to click new audio track. This is what you'll see when you start with an audio track in Audacity. Zin Mono. Stereo looks like this. These are the two different types of tracks you're most likely to encounter in Audacity. This button is the cut button. It's a little pair of scissors over a wave sound effect thing with it. This is copy. That's paste. This trims outside the selection of what you've selected. This trims inside. This silences it. This is undo and redo. Zoom in and out. I don't know what these do, but this adjusts the audio of your microphone. This adjusts your sound, what it sounds like. This is what your speakers put out. This is what your uh, your uh, microphone is taking in. If you want to do specific things, you can show the different effects. Amplify, boost bass, change pitch, speed, and tempo. Click removal, which removes pops. Compressor, which can help like shorten things that go off the uh, audio track. Echo, which adds an echo, equalize, fade in and out, a filter, invert, noise removal, which removes clicks and pops as well. Um, normalize, which normalizes the track, I don't know what that means. I don't know what this is. Phaser, I have no clue what that is. Repeat, repeat something, reverse, reverses it. Wah, wah, those like a wah, wah, and what's that weird sound with? Cross fade in and out, which are different types of fading and out. Delay, I don't know what that is. Part of the limiter, high and low pass filters, tremolo. There's lots and lots of different stuff that you can do. You can even add uh, silence, tones, white noise, clip tracks, and a pluck. I don't know what a pluck is. I don't usually use it. But um, there's lots of different types of like tools. I find Audacity very, very useful um, for audio and lots and lots of different stuff. Um, I have done some mixing with Audacity before, but it's been very, very poor quality at best. I would not recommend it for mixing. I would recommend a much better program for mixing, like, beat tracks and stuff, unless you're very, very good and very advanced at mixing tracks. Um, if you need to float, like, any toolbars, it does that. Here, here's the edit bar floated. Oops. Um, and you can dock it back by going to view, dock edit, toolbar. And that is how you use Audacity. If you need to, uh, if you would like me to tell you where to download Audacity, just let me know. I can give you a link. Audacity is a very, very versatile audio tool. I really like using it a lot. Um, it's very, very helpful. I find it very, ex very, very helpful. Yes, delete that folder. I find it very, very helpful um, as an audio tool, I don't know how you'll find it, but it certainly, it certainly beats Windows, uh, sound recorder, doesn't it? Um, signing off, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you didn't, screw you. Um, until next time, I am signing off, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.